How is everybody doing? Coming to you pretty early in the morning. Got my buddy Jason with me. And it is opening day of rifle season in West Virginia, Bacando. So we're pretty pumped up. The season comes in like six days before Pennsylvania season, so we usually come down and usually you have some fun down here and get some deer. So that's what we're doing. We're getting ready. We're gonna be heading out into the cold mountains here pretty soon. It's like 15 out right now, so it's a cold one, but should have the deer moving. So we're ready. That guy's especially ready, baby. That guy's a hunter. All right, I'll check back in when it's daylight. All right, guys, I am walking in. I got my buddy, Jason. It's an absolutely beautiful morning this morning. No wind, crisp, like 15 degrees. And we got a little bit of a walk, but it's, it looks like it's gonna be an awesome day to be in the deer woods. So we got our rifles in hand, in hand and we're hunting buck and doe. So probably gonna have some action today, but we're pumped. Anybody that Loves the hunt. That was the first day how, how exciting it is walking out, especially when you're with your good buddy or family. So, we'll see what happens. We're walking down in West Virginia, public land. Alright guys, you can see better. I got set up here. I got all the leaves scraped away, so I got a good quiet spot. And watching this big ravine. As you can see, I can see a good ways and it's a beautiful morning, no wind and it's real calm so I should be able to hear them coming from a while away.
never know. Sometimes a buck will be behind the doe, so I just waited it out. And I didn't see a buck, but like I said, I had, as you saw, those three does came in. And I don't know if I got the other two on video that good, but the one came right into me, so that was cool. It was about 9.30. They just came through, so I figured it might be a little later morning, but we're waiting out on a buck. So, stay tuned. That sun feels really good. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but there's a guy perched right on that cliff, <laughs> hunting. I can see him, see his orange right there in the middle. <laughs> it's a good watch, but I just hope he doesn't slip. <laughs> uh, I did not end up killing anything this morning, but I did see does. As you saw, my buddy capitalized one on one, so that was cool. Um, but I'm moving right now to a different set for the evening. It's about 2 o'clock, maybe a little after 2, and I'm going to reset um, to a new spot where I think some deer might come out for the evening up towards this logging of the green grass, and I've seen a little couple oak trees that have a few acorns, so that is what I'm doing right now. relocating but no no bucks yet does no bucks. pretty new at this whole self-filming thing but uh it's been a slow morning here out in west virginia seen a few deer but nothing with a nice set of horns yet just a spike so far this morning and uh where i was sitting this morning was about 100 yards up that way the woods so just talked to him he said he heard me shoot so hopefully we can get some luck his way and see if we can get him a nice buck or doe maybe and maybe myself a buck yet so we'll see but uh, it's beautiful just happy to be out here and enjoying enjoying creation take you down here and show you what she looks like Go find her. Well, there she is. We'll see how we can get her out of here. size doe for out here. When I shot her, she went right down. I was sitting over on that ridge over there. It's hard to see, but she didn't even take a step. So, nice quick death. Good shot. Shot her on the top there. Looking down on her back and dropped her. 
very blessed and grateful to be able to come out here and harvest an animal. This animal is going to provide a lot of feed for my wife and my son and I. And I'm just truly blessed that we have the opportunities that we do in the United States and here in West Virginia. And couldn't be happier. Beautiful, beautiful doe. Stick around. Hopefully, we got a few more hitting the ground here in the next couple of days, and we'll try to bring them to you on camera. I'm sure Vaughn can do a lot better of a job than I did with this one getting it on film, but we'll, uh, we'll do our best. So, just grateful to be out here and, and just enjoying this beautiful day and beautiful countryside and beautiful harvest. Very fortunate. Day two. I already heard deer this morning. Actually, it's just breaking daylight and I heard deer. It's real quiet. I heard them come off this mountain to my left. And they're coming this way, so that's a good sign. It's early and they're already on their feet coming this way. I'm guessing somebody jumped them up there and chased them off the mountain walking in. So hopefully they come this way. Same place as yesterday. Same setup. Alright guys, we got one coming in. We got a doe coming in. I think I'm going to take her. As you saw, I just missed, I think, half the front of her was right in front, like, I couldn't see the front part of her, she was in, behind a tree. So, I think I must have hit that tree, because her vitals were, like, right on the edge of that tree, so I probably should have waited, but I could see them. So I think I must have just pulled to the right a tad and hit the tree. <laughs> That's all I can think, because my gun dialed in, I just shot it, and... I'm usually pretty good at it, but I was trying to video it with my good camera and then I probably should have waited till I could see all of her and not, not be part of her behind a tree, but hey, it happens. Anybody that hunts knows misses occur, <laughs> but that was pretty exciting. I had action already this morning. That was like at 7.15, 7.20 in the morning, so already seeing deer. It's still cold though. <laughs> probably about 20 but hopefully more come through and I can make it count the next time anyway stay tuned I just got set up I'd mump deer walking in you couldn't see but it was a small buck and some does um I couldn't get a shot at the does they took off but I could see them pretty well and they ran but I'm set up see down the hill with one
one man deer drives it's really tough so you got to get to where you can see both down and up as well as you can and just hope the best so there's a rock face where my finger's at so I can see just about to it so this is basically like a corridor so I'm gonna see the deer if they come through here high or low I'm right on a point and like you can see you can see down too so the wind's going this way so I mean it's pretty decent enough any deer come up here they won't they won't smell me up in this way so we'll see we'll see buddy's starting now so Nice size doe. My old buddy Jason's like a dog, baby. Brought her right to me. It ran down after I shot, as you saw in the video. It ran right down the hill, right towards me. So, died quick. It put her back, but it was quartering, so it blew her up inside. So, got meat. Now it's antlers only. Big bucks. That's what me and this old boy's after now. So, we got another day and a half. And we are all in for trophies. Some would say red running mountain bucks in the great state of West Virginia, the big boys. Would you agree? You just got to find them. That's the tricky part. <laughs> Me and this old boy right there, baby, we get her done. In the ridges and mountains and the hollows and the ravines, we find them. Nice deer. All right. I am in the same exact location on the same exact day around the same time as last year when I got a nine point down here. I have my buddy Jason. He's gonna bring it this way first. This way. And then when he gets to me, he's gonna walk up and do this piece back this way. So we're gonna get, he's gonna walk through all that. It's kind of thick stuff you can see. I'm guaranteeing there's deer in there, and I'm on this pipeline, so I definitely can see pretty good. But I shot my buck last year, right down in there at like 20 yards. A doe came right to this tree right there, spooked, ran down in that way, and didn't know what I didn't know what I was. So the buck was coming grunting, and he ran in this dip, and I I shot him. I think he was actually right over there. But it was really close, but the, my bullet did fragment a little, but it hit him and he only ran like 40 yards. He died right over there on that point. But that was one year ago today, around the same time. So I'm back, hoping to repeat it. So stay tuned.
right in, as you guys saw. It got separated from some other, uh, the other flock, obviously, and it's looking for its counterparts. So I made a few calls there, as you heard. She came running right in to like 10 yards. Literally. It was probably actually less. That was pretty cool. She really lost, though, because she didn't even get that flustered when she saw me. That's cool, though. There she's calling again. Guys, I'm gonna be the hunt. Had a good time with my buddy Jason the last three days, and we both got those, so I would like to get a buck someday here, but that time's coming. That's how it goes. They're, they're not easy down here in West Virginia, especially on public land. So, we're gonna head back towards the truck. Call it a season, so appreciate everybody watching the falls. Till next time, keep it outside.